Okay, this is the water meter test and um, water pressure test and some other basic plumbing um, things going on here and what we've got. So I'm looking in here and this is the meter in the parkway in front of the between the sidewalk and the curb. And in the center of this is an analog meter. You see that sprocket? Okay, that's called a flow indicator. Some people call it a cheater wheel or a cheater paddle. Call it what you will. But that's very sensitive. If water's moving into the house, that moves. So if that's moving, go see if you got a leak at your lawn sprinkler system or a commode flapper or something. Because if it's not leaking someplace that you can tell, it's leaking someplace that you can't tell. This is where it belongs, right out here. We have passed the water meter test. Come on along the closest bib faucet to the meter. We're going to check our pressure. We're looking for between 40 and 80 psi. It looks like we have about 55 psi, but we're going to leave that there for a little bit. It's supposed to sit for a few minutes. But 50 psi. 55 psi, that's good, between 40 and 80. The main water shutoff valve to the house is in this front flower bed. If you have an emergency, this is where you go. You open up this box right here, and you see that you have a valve, that blue handle. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off, and behind that that valve we have another valve that's a pressure regulating backflow prevention valve now you can't make more pressure than there is but you can get the maximum amount of pressure into the house by using that valve and you can reduce the amount of pressure coming into the house by also adjusting that valve so right here in the front flower bed These two white things in the front flower bed, that's your main sewer cleanouts. This one goes that direction, it's called a double cleanout, and that one goes this direction. So if you have a clog somewhere in the yard or in between these or in the house, you can run an auger, a rotor rooter, a snake, call it what you will, but you can run an auger into the house or into the yard and you can clean the obstruction without having to go inside of the house and um, making things worse than they were. This home, this is on the south side of the garage. This home has gas plumbing. All right, I'm not finding, I do not see, I cannot determine that we have electrical bonding. You got a little electrical bonding on the furnace. I don't think that's enough. I will mention that there's some bonding on the furnace, but I, I'm just not seeing it. It might be someplace, but I, I don't notice it. Okay, this is the electric controls for the lawn sprinkler system. And this is the supply control wire conduit that's supposed to protect it right there. See that? That's broken. Looks like a um, landscaper's gotten a hold of it with a weed whacker or something. You think water can get in there? I do. I come over here. Just past the fence. Look at the very top of the fence. The little white box back there. That's your weather sensor. Okay, for the lawn sprinkler system. Lawn sprinkler weather sensor. And then over here close to the meter but on your side of the property, on your side of the sidewalk, where it should be, this is the check valve backflow prevention for the lawn sprinkler system. It's been lined with gravel. Uh, it's filled up a little bit. It's been about five years. These are supposed to be serviced once a year. I get it. Nobody does it, but they are. 
but that box should be excavated and relined with gravel. You should have three inches to get underneath there. These are all extras. While I'm waiting for the meter, inside the garage, the south interior wall, I took the cover plate off so I could get the uh, model number off of it. This is a Ranchio. And there are instructions available online. By the way, I got 5G Apple 12 Pro. And I can't hardly get any internet service out here, much less phone. But you can look it up online, and then they will have manual instructions right there for you. So this is what you're looking for. If you're looking for Ranchio, it'll pop right up. Okay. And we got a little higher. Okay. Or maybe not, but 55 PSI is a good thing.